Once again, I want to say welcome to the Providence Island. And this is where 1822, January 7, to be specific, the settlers from America landed. This is Providence Island. The traditional name for this island is called Dozoa. D-O-Z-O-A, Dozoa. Dozoa is a day gola word meaning land in the center of water. And of course, the island is situated between two rivers, the Stockton Creek and the Maserati River. And can we have you come and back so that way you can face this way, please? It's just, we feel like we're shooting in the background come trash. Here. And come as here. you see here, said you should come here. Talking about slavery in Africa, talking about islands, as far as slavery is concerned, we have two important islands in Africa. The Gori Island in Senegal, where the blacks were deposited and taken to America to work on the plantation of the white men. Then, of course, after what they, re they, they released, they came back to Africa. But they didn't come to Africa like that. It was the name of a man called Paul Coffey. Paul Coffey was a Negro of New Bedford, a man of Negro with Indian appearance, a man of ability and a wealthy mission, who saw the suffering of the blacks in America under our slave masters. And he shed tears. He said, why? Why should they treat human beings like they are? He said, because they are black, we have the same blood. He went and organized a program. <coughs> he went, he spent 1,500 United States dollars, way back, both entirely by himself. And he brought 40 colonies to Africa. Then he went back to America. When he got to America, he fell sick from what? Malaria, mosquito. He died. He died. He didn't make it. And then, after the invention of the machine, the Industrial Revolution, the white invented machine, you know, they carried the black to America to brush their plantation, their farm, you know, cotton field to brush. Cotton, cotton tree, yeah, the, the, the brush. When they discovered the machine, the work 25 men could do in one month time, the machine could do in three days time, so no need. Then they abolished slavery. It was from there that the American Colonization Society was formed in Washington, D.C., December 1816, with the purpose of bringing the people back to Africa. They left America and came to Africa. They stopped on the Chevro Island in Sierra Leone. When they got to Sierra Leone, they were denied by the Sierra Leone government. By that time, Sierra Leone was under British colony. Why? Because they are from America, and Sierra Leone is under British. They say no. Under the leadership of Governor Charles McCarthy, who became suspicious of political racism and denied them. Where would they go? They had nowhere to go. They didn't know the part of the world. They were just looking for a refuge place to stay. Then, of course, they started driving to the eastern side. They left and went all the way down. They were going all the way. When they reached to the Pan African Plaza, you know, remember where we stopped? The United Nations office? Mm -hmm. That structure. They decided to go back to Sierra Leone to beg the Sierra Leone government to grant them mercy. On their way going, they came closer to the shore and they saw the, fish, the water coming inland. They said, Let us follow this route. And of course, they came this route. The Atlantic Ocean is on that side there. They broke through here. And they saw the piece of land in the center of the road, of the, of the water. They took for the five minutes to stay on board the ship, the Elizabeth. Then, after 45 minutes, the able bodied man came out. They got down and surveyed this island. Went all around from north, south, east, west. They didn't see anybody. Then the woman got down. When they got down, they didn't see anybody on the island. Of course, they put their load down. Can I demonstrate, please? Your permission? Yes, sir. Can I demonstrate? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. When they got down on the island, I'm sorry, I cannot take off my clothes. They took out their clothes. They arrived here on the 7th of January, 1822. We have two seasons, the rainy season and the dry season. They reach here in the center of the dry season, heat. Of course, 
they nailed down on this island. And of course, they put their hands up like this. Praise God, we have reached home. And they took the dust from the ground. This is the land of liberty. This is the glorious land of liberty. Here we belong and here we shall stay. And of course, why they were jubilating, some of them were sharing tears because of what they went through from Sierra Leone to America. Here we are, free land of liberty. Because of what happened here, the initial name they gave the island was Perseverance Island. They persevered. That was the indigenous name. That was the name they initially gave the island. The indigenous people called the island Dozoa. D-O-Z-O-A. <coughs> Meaning, land in the center of water. So they name it. But then, afterwards, the indigenous used to cut, uh, make wood here. They used to use paddle, you know, raft to come here and there to get wood. When they got here, they saw the, 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 the blacks from America. And the people were happy to receive them. The American women, hello, bao, bao. What is hello? Our people were not educated literally. They couldn't read neither write. But we have our two bush school system here. The Puro and the Sunny. That was a bush school system we had it. The Puro is for the men, and the Sunday is for the women. You go in the bush, they, they initiate you. They train you how to behave. Like the way we are here, we are all men here. Women run to party, they run to like, you know, bend down like this. They respect. You have to know how to cater to your wife, your family. And you have to know how to cater to your, your husband and the children. Respect. That's what they hire. Of course. They left and they went to the villages. <coughs> Excuse me. They went to the town and carried news to the people. The indigenous came on the island in a group to meet them. But the problem is who interpret? They didn't know what is hello. How are you? They didn't even know it. It was a man by the name of King Saboso. We have 16 tribes in Liberia. Of Mandingo, Mandingo is one of the tribes. This Saboso, 14 system. Uh, 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 14, uh, 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 16, the, the Portuguese were on, in Liberia. The, the British were here. The, 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 the Spanish were here. So this man could speak common English. He was the interpreter between them. He said, look, these are guys from America. America? What do you call America? He said, we have to accommodate them. No problem. They came here on board a ship, Elizabeth, with 88 immigrants from America and they welcomed them. Less than no time, another ship came, the Nautilus. Then another ship followed, the Navigator, they came. And then of course, the play was getting too small for them. So they negotiated with the indigenous. They have the smoke, you know, the smoke pipe. You know, the basa, the, you know, tobacco, whatever, I think you heard about it. They share the idea, so you are welcome. And because the play was very small, this island by then, by that time, it was 11.22 acres. But now it's smaller because of erosion. Then they allow them to go on the mainland. Then, of course, they settle around where we have the police station. They start building Monrovia. But this island, this is where Liberia was from. Beside the island, the oldest church is the Providence Baptist Church, 1822. Lat Carey, Samuel Mills and Ebenezer Budget, Reverend Ephraim Bacon, Robert R. S. Structon, Captain Robert Alvarez Stockton, after whom they named this island, all were on the board of ship. Matilda Newport was on board of ship. Milton Draper, they all on board of ship. They brought this ship here and they landed here. So this is the Providence Island. This bridge was built in 1979 as a result of the OU conference hosted by Liberia. Liberia is one of the permanent members of the Organization of Africa Unity. In fact, the Organization of Africa Unity was formed right here in Liberia, in San Nicole, Nima County. So this is the island. This is Perseverance Island. This is Dozua. This is Providence Island, as you can see here. You see the light bulb here? 2022, Liberia celebrated uh, by Centennial year, 222 years since the landing of the slave here. That's why I see you. And President Boca administration, the inauguration, they feel a lot of things. There was a guest house right here. Right here, but it was destroyed during the war. We had a museum here. <coughs> the first museum was on the island here. It was destroyed. 
If any of you remember Yata Joe, Man Joe, Yata Joe was one of the actresses in, in Liberia. They used to perform here. ZTT, Fatu Geflo, the late Toketu Man, Balawala Manawala, they used to perform all on this island here. This island was very lively. This is one of the tourist sites we have in the Republic of Liberia. When we talk about tourism, when we talk about history, this history will never be, the island will never be forgotten. It come first in the history of Liberia. So we're going to tour the island. We're going to first go on that side, <coughs> to the eastern side, where we're going to see the, the, the oldest well that was dug by the settlers, and where the settlers and the indigenous make peace under the cotton tree. And then we'll, I'll show you the amphibian theater. So any question? Any question? Uh, that was good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Well, that's definitely good. appreciate the introduction. Appreciate the introduction. That was wonderful. Um, so family, this is Providence Island, 1822 settlement reconnection. And as our tour guide mentioned, uh, many remnants of this island were destroyed, uh, which is unfortunate because we have to preserve history and culture. Um, I don't know if they recycle here. Okay? No, they need to not use plastic.